Hello and welcome. My name is Logan, aka Coding Doctor 101. And in today's Flickr tutorial video, I will be showing you how to do the while statement. And now to locate the while statement, first you must click on a black line and look under looping and you will see while. The while statement will look like this. And when you double click on it, we have a condition expression below, which I will get to later on in the video. Now, the while statement is used for you to go through code repeatedly as long as a boolean statement is true. And what a boolean statement is, it is just a variable that is either true or false. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. So, let's hop in. So, in today's video, let's build a little function that will... Hmm, We'll have it output high five times. So we'll do a declare and we'll call this we'll call it string output. And of course we will change this to string. Hit OK. Now we'll do an assign for this. String output equals Hello world. Next, we are also going to declare an integer and we'll call, it, call this count. And we will also assign count to zero. All right. So now we will add in the while statement. Inside the while statement, we're going to say while well, count is less than 5. We're going to hit OK. And we will come in here and we're going to do output string output. Make sure I have everything right. And we will now run it. My bad. Output was not declared somewhere. Ah, it helps if you spell everything correctly. And now, let's try this again. There we go. And you see, we just caused ourselves an infinite loop because I'm going to pause this that way my computer doesn't crash. Because it, when you look over here, count will always be less than 5. So now we need to go in and add a way for count to be higher than 5. So we'll do assign count equals count plus 1. And we'll hit OK. And now let's try this. Now we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because it will it loops through here while count is less than 5. As soon as it is greater than 5, it stops. So to go through the code, both declare, declare, assign count to 0, assign string output to hello world. Since count, since 0 is less than 5, it outputs. But, and as soon as it gets here, count goes to 1. 1 is less than 5, 2 is less than 5, and so on and so forth. So that is how we get this. But we can also do more with the while statement. So here would be an, another example. We'll delete all this. And we will do declare. We'll call it count again. Also assign it to zero. Next, we are going to come up here to our function manager and we will hit add function name get user name and we want to return a string and I'm just going to call it return and we'll hit OK and we'll hit done and in here, we're going to get an out. We're going to do an output. Please enter your name. 
and then we'll do shrink input. And all right, and there we go. So we get username is done. Let's hop back into main. So now in main we have the integer count and count set to zero. So we are going to call get username. And let's just make sure we have everything right. Yes, we do. It looks like it. Then we're going to come over. We're going to do a declare. And we'll do, we'll call it username. And we will make this a string too. Now, what we're going to do in a My bad, this needs to be an assign. That's totally my fault. So we're going to do an assign. Let me open this. Username. And this will... And we want this to be able to call get username. And the reason we're doing this instead of a call is because we want to get a value back from username, which we are doing from the return. And to be able to use that value in main, we need it a place to put it, which is username. That's totally my fault, and I'm sorry about that. Next, we are going to do our while statement. So, while username is not empty we're gonna do output count and then we're gonna copy this and we'll paste it and now as we go through Get username was not declared and that's because I did not make it into a module or function and how we do that is right here adding the two parentheses right behind it saying yes this is a function or a module and we're gonna do the same thing there because I forgot it there too and now let's try this again there we go enter my enter your name I'll do Logan and then it goes zero now let's do Bob. And the reason we keep seeing zero is because there's not a way for it out for count to increment up. So how we will do that is we'll come in here and we're gonna do assign count equals count plus one. Same thing we did last time, and now if we run it, we'll do my name, which is Logan. And now we'll do Bob. Let's, let's keep going with Bob. As you see, it keeps going though when you just hit enter, program stops. So, cool little fun thing to do with while loops. Now, while loop, as you can see, this while loop is calling that function, and earlier you saw as we were using it to count numbers. Now, let's make a semi complicated program where the program is going to count down, count from zero to an odd number. So the user will enter a number, an odd number, and the computer is going to start from zero and slowly count by twos all the way to that number. So we're just going to come in and edit this, and we're just going to Nope, my bad. Select and cut. There we go. Done. All right. So in main, we want declare. We want an integer because we want odd number. We don't want to. We don't want the computer trying to count by decimals just yet. So we'll call it user number, and we'll hit OK. And I also want to declare count. And well, this will also be an integer. All right. 
So I'm going to make a module just because I can and it's going to get the user number. So what I'm going to do is come to the function manager and we'll hit add function name we'll call it get number and we're going to return an integer and return a variable is just going to be number and we'll hit OK and we'll hit done and as you see the integer number is already declared so that means all we have to do is output please enter a odd number now we'll do an input and this is just going to be called number because that's our variable now, one thing we have to figure out is what would happen if the user enters a number that is not odd. And what we can do is we'll come in here, we'll do a while loop in here. So while number this was the word I was looking for and I'm sorry so what this means if number modulus 2 equals 0 we're just going to have them input this again we'll do a paste we we'll go back to main and we're just going to do an assign we'll call it user number equals I believe we call it get number and let's just make sure I get number yep and let's just run this to test enter an odd number so say we enter 14 please enter an odd number so if we enter 15 it stops which means we have entered an odd number which is what we want so now we make sure it's a guaranteed odd number now we're going to come back through main and we will do a while loop. So we're going to do while count is less than user number. So while so this is where our count comes in. We are going to do and assign count equals count plus two and we're gonna hit OK and we will output count then we're gonna do an if statement if user number minus count is 1 okay if that is true we're gonna do the exact thing here paste and we're gonna change this to 1 we'll hit OK and let's run this so just to make sure we'll hit enter 18 and it says and please enter odd number so if we do 15 Count, the variable count was not initialized. So let's see what the issue is. And I've forgotten in my bad. Wait a second. Was not initialized. So what that means was I I did not do give it an assign. So a count does not have a value, and you cannot compare something that does not have a value. So we'll do count equals zero and these two are mi mixed match my bad there we go because we want to output count as we are counting by twos so please enter a odd number so we'll do 15 and as we should see it goes 0 2 4 6 8 10 12 and it goes to 15 and as you see, we skipped 
14. So let's go back and fix that issue. So let's go back to main. And what happened was we didn't output that before we updated it. So we'll do another output here just to make sure. So if we do 15 again, now we have 14 included as you can see right here. And I'll zoom in on this just a little bit. And that is right there. So a simple cheeky way to be able to count up by twos, but also get the user starting number, which we made sure was odd. That's all I have for y'all today in this video. Hope to see y'all next time. Thanks and goodbye.